Hey guys, Lantern Year 11. <laughs> well, <laughs> Manhunter kicked our ass, but we're, we're in it to win it. <clears throat> or we're in it to survive, I guess, not win it. Um, we're going to face a level 2 Screaming Antelope this year. Um, <clears throat> I think that's just the best, the best course of action. Um, like, I really want to face Spidercules again, but right now, like, my point is to get as far as I can in the campaign. Um, I'm going to try, try to make it to the gold smoke night, um, which would be awesome. But yeah, like we're going to abandon Spidercules. I think at this point, we're going to keep the Manhunter in. Uh, I mean, we can face Spidercules whenever we want to, I guess, but, but, uh, I don't think we're going to. So yeah, with that, let's, uh, let me show you real quick who I'm sending out and then, uh, we'll dive in. All right. First we're sending out trash noob, just like everybody full leather. Uh, counterweighted axe, no more Dratacanthus, unfortunately. Blue mini. Can is next. She's the purple mini. Uh, rawhead armor set, bandages, counterweighted axe, uh, monster grease. Speakers, the green mini. He's got the rawhide armor set, um, scrap sword, bone darts, just in case. And last but not least, monitor. She's got, she's the red mini. She's got uh, cloth armor, bandage, cat gut bow, claw head arrow, and skull cap hammer. All right, so let's put out the hunt events. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so trash is going to be our first event revealer. We get uh, migration. That's fantastic. Some unseen forces set off a massive migration. Nothing remains but uprooted acanthus plants and shattered ground ruined by hooves. Move the screaming out three spaces away from, from the survivors. One, two, three. That is not good. <sighs> Great. Can's going to be our next event revealer. We're going to get a random hunt event. Here we go, 59. <clears throat> Signs of battle. The survivors come upon the remains of a terrible battle between their quarry and some unknown foe. The event revealer may choose to investigate. If they do, gain plus one courage. Yep, we're gonna do it. <clears throat> okay, so Can gets plus one courage. And roll 1d10, otherwise roll again on the hunt event table. Two. The monster springs out of the dark, taking advantage of the distracted survivors. The monster ambushes the survivors during the showdown setup, place the event revealer directly in front of the monster. Awesome. <clears throat> well, actually, I would prefer that. <laughs> Rather than get go through the entire hunt, uh, we get ambushed. So, uh, well, that was quick and easy. Um... Sounds good. So ambush means that they'll go once and then they'll go again. Uh, so let me, uh, we got to set up two terrain cards. Oh, let me pull the acanthus plants real quick. Uh, one, two, three acanthus plants and bug batch. <clears throat> okay, here we go. And then we get uh, survivor corpse and three stone columns. Um, all right, let me set it up. I'll be right back. All right, this showdown might be a little bit different because we have to put the event revealer right in front of the Screaming Antelope. Uh, that's going to cause problems. <clears throat> so, let's see. What do we want to do? <clears throat> so what's going to happen? Uh, so we're doing a level 2 Screaming Antelope. So we have 10 basic, 5 advanced, so that's 16 wounds to kill. Uh, movement is 8, toughness is 10. Oh, and we got plus one speed and plus one damage. <clears throat> Not toughness, damage. Okay. Um, and then we get uh, Diabolical and Trample. So Trample we've seen before. When it collides, they suffer damage equal to the monster's level to a random hit location. But Diabolical is new. At the end of the monster's turn, target a random survivor in the Trample Zone. Uh, the Trample Zone is like this way, this way, this way, or this way. Full move through the target, move the monster through the pa and pass the survivor. If there's no target, full move forward in a straight line. So, <sighs> it also <s> <clears throat> ambushes us. 
So it gets to go twice. Uh, so um, uh, shuffle up the AI deck. Shuffle up the hip location deck. Because normally we'd, we'd have him run around, like especially with a level two screaming elope, what would happen would be nothing, nobody's in range. It would turn, come here, eat, and then run over here, and we could just sweep up everything. But it makes it a little bit more difficult now that can's right in front. And it gets to go first, so, or twice. So let's pull an AI card. Bolt, closest knockdown survivor, furthest threat in range. So our movement is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is the furthest threat in range. <laughs> Uh, can is so we're going to do speed two two plus three plus four plus okay so that's two hits the chest and the waist for two damage each and then full move the screaming elope in a straight line away from all survivors so we're gonna i think this way would be a way one two four five six seven eight <clears throat> So two damage uh, to the waist, so that puts her down to zero. And two damage to the chest, which puts her down to zero on the chest. Okay. Actually, Bolt worked pretty good. <clears throat> so now Diabolical triggers. <clears throat> At the end of the monster's turn, target a random survivor in the trample zone. So this one's the only one in the trample zone, so we're going to turn. And we're going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we should have done, if we thought about it, is to move him over one. And then, yeah, bummer. Uh, I left the stone columns off. I just don't want to use them. Survivor Corpse is right there, by the way. Um, okay, so now it gets to go again because it ambushed us. Run down. Full move in the direction the monster is facing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> Turn and face the closest survivor. Okay, that's going to be trash. Um, pick a target. Knock down survivor in range 12. Closest survivor in range 12. No target agrees. Move twice and attack. Okay, so we're going to go here. Speed 2. 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus. <clears throat> so two more hits. Both to the head. So that's going to be 4 damage. Yeah, so that's uh, just four damage, so we're going to just take it. So we'll go down to one to the head. Okay, run down is done. So now it's finally our turn. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Um, let's do five. We'll attack. <clears throat> Trash, speed two, six plus. One hit. Restless chest. If we wound, turn the screaming alert to face the attacker and full move forward in a straight line. Great. <clears throat> so toughness is 10. Uh, 9, 8, 7, 6. 6 plus. 6 is going to do it. That's one wound. And then turn to face the attacker. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Did I do that right? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Wonder, did I move him? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, so we're knocked down. Uh, we suffer. We're trample. So we suffer two damage to the leg. Okay, so that gets us down to three on the leg. Okay. Perfect. Great. So that's Can's turn. <clears throat> well, I guess um, I guess Can's gonna attack just right there. Speed two six plus with the counterweighted X. <sighs> two misses. We're gonna surge and do it again. Well, let's see if we spend it. We don't spend it actually. Speed two six plus. One hit. Ferocious Spasm, okay? The screaming yellow uh, frantically attacks everything around it. So that's here, 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 and here. So we're in a good spot. So again, uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 6 plus. 
eight will wound. Okay. Does its ferocious spasm. <clears throat> Nothing happens. Uh, okay, so now what? Let's go five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, okay. I think that's all we're going to be able to do. Yeah, because we can't dash or anything like that. So AI card, chow down. If there are no acanthus plants on the showdown door, discard chow down. We'll move the screaming alert to the closest acanthus plant. So we're going to go here. If the monster ends its movement, it consumes it. So we're going to consume the acanthus plant. Come to me. Come to me, I can't this plan. <clears throat> okay, we heal 1d5. So, yeah, we heal all of our stuff. Um, I believe it goes on the bottom of your discard pile, or bottom of the AI card. Okay, and then we put. Yep, and then put Chow down on top. <clears throat> then we Diabolical. Oh no. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, so we get two damage again to the waste this time. So we go down to three. Okay. Wow, this is not quite as easy as the level one screaming antelope. Okay. So he's now <clears throat> stands up because it's the monster's turn. Last, or it was, oh yeah, it was his turn when he attacked is when that happened. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. We still don't have enough reach. Gosh dang it. <clears throat> okay. Well, I think um, Trash is just going to attack. Speed two, six plus. Right there. One hit. <clears throat> Gnarled horns. Failure if the attacker is adjacent to the monster, their weapon is stuck. We're not adjacent. So again, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 6 plus. 9 will wound, so chat down has gone. Uh, failure doesn't happen. Let's surge. Let's go on to 5 survival. Let's do it again. 6 plus. Ooh, a perfect hit. So we do an automatic wound without pulling a hit location because our counterweighted axe. On a perfect hit, monster suffers 1 wound. Do not draw a hit location. Limit once per attack. Okay. Um, so let's have him, oh, we don't have dash. Oh, that's going to screw us. Let's do this. One, two, three, four, five. No, we want it to attack him. Yeah, let's go there. Uh, then we're going to have, I'll go here. Search an acanthus plant. <clears throat> Eight. The fresh acanthus plant. Okay, perfect. All right, that's monitor. And then they're gonna go here. Search an acanthus plant. Nine. That's a fresh acanthus plant. Boop. And boop. <clears throat> Okay, fresh canthus plant, awesome, and then two, three, four, five, sure, let's go here, bug patch, six, gain ran random vermin resource, archive this terrain, uh, where's the vermin resources, <clears throat> there we go, we're gonna get sword beetle, vermin consumable. Okay. Uh, we can consume it. The beetle burrows into your brain. You die instantly. Tough and disgusting, no effect. Or six plus, gain plus one permanent strength. Ooh. Okay. Well, there's that. Book patch is now gone. <clears throat> so I think that is everybody's turn. Yeah, book patch. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Okay, so Screaming Antelope's turn. 
boy, without dash, this makes it really, really hard. Um, maybe I shouldn't have done level two yet. Stomp, closest knockdown survivor, furthest threat in field of view in range. <sighs> so, I think we're going to be here. Move an attack, speed one, now speed two. Two plus, uh, monitor, two plus, oof. So that's two hits for three damage each. Oh, and this always hits the body. Oh no. <clears throat> so let's have them spend one survival to dodge one of the bodies. And then they'll do another body for three. Oh, which is a severe. Oops. Seven on the body. Ruptured Spleen, a vicious body blow. Skip the next hunt, gain two bleed tokens. <clears throat> All right, skip the next hunt. Okay. Um, so they're knocked down. <clears throat> okay, and then it says, if this attack does damage, draw another AI card. Oh no. Stomp and Snort. Random survivor in range. No target graze, so one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Intimidate target. The screaming animal begins to stomp and snort excitedly. A gurgling moan sounds from its undermaw. Turn to face the target and roll 1d10. Five. On a result of four plus, the target suffers one brain damage per monster level and is knocked down. So they're knocked down. They have zero insanity. So they go to a severe brain injury. It's not insane, okay. Four. <clears throat> Flee, your knockdown suffer knockback equal to your movement towards the closest board edge. So we go here, and we gain one, two, five insanity. So one, two, three, four, five, so we gain three insanity. All right, great. Okay, <clears throat> so that's the Screaming Olive's turn. So we're gonna spend, Can's gonna spend a survival. They do spend it, so they go down to five. To encourage, <sighs> monitor. <clears throat> oh shoot, oh shoot, hold on. Oh shoot, hold on, let's go back. <clears throat> Now Diabolicals, at the end of the turn, target a random survivor. So uh, one through five, six through 10. 10, so we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ouch. So let's see, Monitor gets a damage to the chest, which is another severe. And then um, <clears throat> Can is gonna get damage to the head, which is a heavy. Uh, we'll spend a survival to dodge that, actually. So that goes down to five. <clears throat> oh, no, we, we can't dodge that because it's a, just a straight trample. Um, okay, so that goes to a heavy on the head. So <clears throat> monitor gets a severe to the chest. Uh, that's a uh, cocked. Oh, shit. One. Oh, no. No, no, why did I say that was cocked? I should've just taken instant death. The blow sends a bone fragment directly to your brain, to your heart, killing you instantly. Awesome, that's just fantastic. Why did I say that was cocked? It was barely cocked. Oh, I should've just taken the seven. Well, they, we get a whatever. Oh no, they're dead. <clears throat> Great. <clears throat> so now let's have Trash spend a survival to encourage. Okay, and then Can's gonna spend a survival. They don't spend it to encourage. Okay. Uh, we're gonna attack from right there. Can is, be two, six plus. Uh, one hit it's to the pallet. We have a failure reaction, uh, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, six plus. Seven is a wound. Okay, no failure reaction. 
Uh, we're going to surge. We do not spend it. Um, okay. And we're going to be 2, 6 plus. Oh, two misses. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So speaker can't get in, but we can do bone darts. So let's go uh, 1, 2, 3. Hmm. Let's go here. <clears throat> yeah, then bone darts. Speed one, seven plus. Eight is a, a hit. The restless flank. The monster turns to face the attacker. Okay. Uh, ten, nine, eight, seven. Seven plus. Four is going to miss. So we turn and face the attacker. I guess we're just going to go there. Uh, okay. It's that speaker's turn. Um... Right, and then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. And that's it, I think. Um, let's go here. Okay, Screaming Antelope's turn. Buck, mood. At the start of each monster's turn, target and attack any survivors in the blind spot, okay? All right, so that's one less wound I guess we have to do, but now we can't, no, no attacking from the blind spot. Okay, the start of each monster's turn, okay. All right, so now it's our turn. We're gonna go right here. Oh no, wait, uh, so then it diabolicals, right? Yep, so now there's no survivors, so just run straight forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Almost forgot Diabolical. <clears throat> okay, now it's our turn. Um, and we're gonna go one, two, three, four. Yep, four, we're gonna attack speed two, six plus, kind of weighted axe, uh, two hits, restless shoulder, restless hoof. Uh, so restless shoulder, if we wound, it jumps out of the way. Restless Hoof, if attacking with a melee weapon, it is kicked out of reach by the Screaming Antelope's trashing hooves. Mm. We have to spend an activation to get it back. Um, let's do Restless Hoof. Well, no, let's do Restless Shoulder. Sure, why not? Uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 7 is a wound. Uh, if we wound, the blow cuts the Screaming Antelope and it jumps back. Dang it. Uh, let's have it, yeah, that's fine. Cancel hits now out of the range. Yep, so Restless Hook doesn't kick off. Kind of doubted that I would actually hit, so. Um, okay, well that's, uh, whoops, I forgot to turn all these over. So that's Can's turn. Let's have Trash come in. Uh, speed two, six plus, kind of weighted X. Oh, two perfect hits. Kind of waited axe. It's got the affinity. We just do two wounds immediately. We're going to spend a survival. Go down to three. And we'll do it again. Oh, another perfect hit. Oh, my gosh. And then uh, one hit for that nine. Uh, furry tail. You strike the magnificent bushy tail. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, six plus. Perfect hit. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Critical wound. Screaming out Gain one Screaming Antelope resource, so we're going to gain the Pelt. Okay, um, and then Screaming Antelope is off balance. The uh, monster gains minus one accuracy token. Minus one accuracy, awesome. Okay, so that was Trash's turn. Uh, that was Ken already went. One, two, three, four, five. We can't get to him. <laughs> so, so I'm guessing they're gonna come down here, up here, and then they're gonna come this way. So let's go one, two, three, four. And we'll search an acanthus plant. Nine is a fresh acanthus. Boom, got it. Archive the terrain, done. Okay, so that's everybody's turn. Screaming Olive's turn. 
back kick in blind spot in range. Closest threat in range. So we're going to go here. Turn the monster to target the blind spot. Oh, dang it. Oh, well, I guess. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, speed one, so speed two. Three plus, four plus, five plus. Two misses. Um, okay. So that doesn't do it. Then diabolical happens. So we turn and we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're knocked down. They get two damage to the chest. So they go down to one. Boy, I really wish we had dash. Okay. Can spends a survival. They don't spend it to encourage. Um, let's have speaker. Yeah, dang it. I mean, if, it, if we run four, that's the problem, right? We're going to be out of range of everybody. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, she's out of range no matter what. Mm, who has the best? Yeah, I think one, two, three, four. Right there. Speed two, six plus. Trash. So one hit. Restless Muzzle. If you hit with a clever shield, you clobber the monsters and gain plus two luck by attempting to wound this location. So it's just straight, so six plus. Seven is a wound. Okay, nothing happens. We're gonna spin another survival, so we go down to two. We're gonna attack again, six plus. That's two hits. Okay, so we got Giant Teeth, which is super dense, or Restless Back. Restless back if you hit with a clever shield, clobber the monster, gain plus two luck. So let's do restless back first. Six plus. Nine. Another wound. Okay. And then the giant teeth. Um, super dense. Nothing happens. Uh, six plus. Six is a wound. All day long, I'll take that. <clears throat> okay. Right, so now let's. So that's their turn. They've moved that. Oh, yeah, we've done that. Uh, so now let's have speaker move in. We're going to speaker move right here. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Speed two, five plus. Uh, two hits. <clears throat> giant tongue and the giant mouth. All right, so let's do giant tongue first. Minus two toughness to wound this location. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 5 plus. 5 will do it. Okay. Wound. Blood and spittle erupt from the screaming elves. Wounded under moth. The wound result is even. Suffer one brain damage. If it's odd, gain one insanity. So we gain one insanity. So we're up to four. Okay, and then this one is normal, 10, 9, 8, 7. 7 plus for giant mouth. Oh no, 1. If attacking with a melee weapon and the wound result is 1 or 2, the monster consumes your weapon. Son of a... Damn it, scrap sword is gone. Fudge. Archive the gear and cancel the attack. If attacking with fist and tooth. Dang it. Dang it. Well, that was fun. Uh, we're not going to surge because that sucks. Gosh dang it. Okay. You know what, let's surge. Let's see. Uh, we spend it. Should we do fist and tooth? Um, yeah, no, I don't think we're gonna do fist and tooth. Let's just do bone darts. Speed one, seven plus. Four is a miss. Okay. Right, and then so we're probably gonna go this way. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, like that. Uh, five, like that. Okay, screaming antelope's turn. Stomp and snort. Random survivor in range. That's everybody. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, okay, so it's speaker. The screaming antelope begins to stomp and snort. A gurgling moan. Turn to face the target. Roll a d10. Three, four plus, awesome, no, yes, so nothing happens. Uh, okay, our turn. So I think speaker's gonna go one, two, 
and uh, oh no wait, so just finished the diabolicals now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So knock down two damage to the arm, so that goes down to zero. Okay. All right, now it's our turn. <clears throat> Um, well, I guess Can's going to come in for sure. Speed 2, 6 plus with a kind of weighted axe. Uh, miss. We're going to surge. That's cocked. We do spend it. We'll attack again. 6 plus. Perfect. 2, a 9 and a 10. We don't have the affinity, so we don't get a wound. Wailing slide. Dang it. Screaming yellow panics is under mouth, unleashing an inhuman wail. It bucks wildly. The attacker is doomed. Also, I was adjacent to the monster. No, we're not technically adjacent. So for two brain damage per monster level, knock back five and I knock down the monster lands the belly. Begins to slide on his teeth. Turn the monster directly away from the attacker and full move forward in a straight line. Uh, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're in the corner now. <clears throat> yep, that had to have happened. All right. That was Can's turn. Okay. So should we just leave Speaker down? At this point, there's no way to get to him. One, two, three, four, five. One, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we can't get to him even with the bone darts, so uh, let's just leave Can down. One, or three wounds away. Uh, okay, so we're gonna end our turn. Oh yeah, we're this guy hasn't gone yet. Uh, trash hasn't gone yet. So let's go here. Let's search for pressure can this. Whoops, that's two dice. Three. Find nothing. Archive this terrain. Bummer. Okay. All right. So now, hold on. Boy, that went way far away. Okay, so now it's the Screaming Antelope's turn. We buck. Nobody's in the blind spot. We now draw an AI card. Back kick. In blind spot in range. Closest threat in range. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're not in range. No target graze. Uh, let's just review graze. Uh, the monster full moves to the closest acanthus plant. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. All right, can't do anything. All right, so we got back kick and stomp and snort left. All right, so now speaker stands up. Oh shoot, uh, but now at diabolicals. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They'll stand up after this, but they're going to take two damage to the waist. Um, so that brings them down to zero. So it's not too difficult, although I killed one of my survivors, but frick. Uh, okay, so we're going to go in here. Trash is going to attack. Speed 2, 6 plus. One perfect hit, so we automatically do a wound. because We got the affinity, and then one hit location for the seven. Restless muzzle. If you with a clever shield, you clobber the monster, gain plus two luck. Uh, we don't have that, so it's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. 6 plus. 6 will do it. Okay. Now let's surge so we go down to 1. I want to get this over with. So speed 2, 6 plus. Oh, perfect hit. That's it. We killed him. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness, goodness. Speed, damage. All right, good stuff. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> this level two screaming is not too bad. I mean, the problem is that we don't have dash, I and mean, we can we can mitigate a lot of that that stuff that's going on because if we had dash, but we don't. So <clears throat> that made it a little bit more difficult. Uh, let's pull out our rule book and review level two screaming antelope. Okay, so let's see. Victory, uh, hunt XP, 
So let's see, speaker gains 100 XP. I think I forgot they're all noobs, so they're just gonna gain one 100 XP. They're not gonna age up or anything. Okay. So now we're down to six survivors. I was wrong last time. We had 11 before. So now we're down to seven. Now we're down to six because uh, they just died. Um, oh, level two plus, we gained 200 XP. Oh, whoops. Uh, so they all age, actually. Okay. So we'll age up in a minute. Um, we get Stone Circle, uh, so we get four basic, six Screaming Antelope resources. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, and four basic. Love juice, we need some love juice. Love juice. One, two, three, four. Okay, here we go. Let's do the basics first. So we get Monster Hide, Perfect Organ, Love Juice, yes, Monster Bone, okay. Pelt, Shank Bone, Shank Bone, Shank Bone, Large Flat Tooth, and Muscly Gums. Cool, okay, well, that's that. Let's age these guys up real quick. All right, so we'll, we'll do trash first. So we're gonna roll 2d10, seven, random fighting art. Uh, where's the fighting arts? There we go. We're gonna get a cross arm block. Whenever you hit, after hit locations are rolled, you may change one result to the arms hit location. Okay. That's kind of cool. So if you had like a head location, um, you can switch it to the arms. That might be a really good thing. Um, cool. Okay, so that's trash. Can's now gonna go. Eight, so random fighting art. We're gonna get Rhythm Chaser. On arrival, gain plus one evasion token. When you're knocked down, if you don't have an instrument in your gear grid, remove all your plus one evasion tokens. Rhythm Chaser cannot be used if there are any heavy gear in your gear grid. Cool. Okay, can's done, speaker's next. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, random fighting art. I'm surprised. Look at the shock look on my face. We're gonna get Seasoned Hunter. I don't know if I've got this one. This one's a, oh, this is a Manhunter one. Okay. Whenever a random hunt event result is 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88, 99, or 100, the event revealer gains plus one understanding, plus one courage. Okay. Cool. That one's kind of a fun one. Uh, okay. All right, so we've aged up now. Uh, we're going to get, um, let's see, three endeavors uh, from our returning survivors and one more endeavor from cooking. Uh, we got from, uh, from Monitor's Death, we got a whatever. Okay. Sounds good. All right, let me, let me set up everything and decide what I want to do, then get it destroyed by a settlement event. 
and then I uh, will be right back. Okay, this one should be interesting. I've never done lottery before, and suddenly we have to do it. <laughs> so, uh, but first things first. So, survivors return, gain endeavors. We gain four endeavors, uh, three for the returning survivors, one for cooking. Update the timelines. So we're now in Lantern Year 12. So now we draw a settlement. Can't forget, we lost our scrap sword, which just sucks. Um, I'm trying to fix that here. We'll see what happens, but. All right, here we go. Four, one, two, three, four. Cracks in the ground. A low rumbling fills the settlement. Small cracks in the earth widen into fissures that belch up hot, sm foul smelling vapor. Roll a d10. Nine. You find a sharp stone in the r rubble left from the quake. Find one founding stone gear. Oh, cool. Uh, let's see if we can find it. Probably digging lots. There we go. Cool. So we got a founding stone. That's nice. Uh, lingering effects. The cracks prevent all home endeavors. Um, okay, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, so I don't think we're going to be using any of those, so, yeah, I think we'll be okay. Oh, this one, this one goes here. Okay. Um, the vapor improves breathing, plus one to the result for up nightmare training. Uh, we have to require a hunch shrine, we don't have that. Require scarification, I don't think we have scarification. Nope. Okay, yeah, that's it. So just no home st stuff, which is fine. Uh, okay, so now we do principal conviction. Um, the survivors must find a reason to be. Treasure the darkness in all its mystery or seek to master it and grow strong. So we can either master the darkness, which we get the barbaric conviction principle, or we can treasure the mystery and do romantic. So our survival limit goes plus one no matter what. So barbaric would be believe in the power of human strength to overpower any obstacles. All current and newborn survivors gain plus one strength. Oh, that'd be awesome. Believe in the potential for beauty, decency, and ingenuity in others. When you gain a random fighting art, draw three fighting art cards and select one to keep. Uh, let's let's see. Let's do barbaric. I think that's going to be our right, our right choice. So we are we are, we are picking barbaric for our conviction principle. Okay. So we all gain plus one strength. So let's let's just do that real quick. The ones that I made cards for. Plus one strength. <clears throat> plus one strength. And the monitor's dead. Plus one strength. Okay, and then uh, then all of my other survivors that I haven't built yet, I'll just add a note real quick. Then I'll remember when I build their cards. Let me just mark monitor off the list of survivors real quick. Okay, so now life is finding the perfect death. The lantern is power. By its light, all will be led to their final glorious moment. Add hands of heat to the next year on the timeline. Okay. Okay. The summit gains conviction principle barbaric. 
Uh, so we gain our survival limit goes up one, so we're now at seven. The settlement gains, uh, okay, find and place the card on the settlement board and note it on the settlement record sheet. After adding the card, roll 1d10, nine, six to 10. Now I need a survivor, they gain plus four courage and the following ability, Thunder Crawl. Uh, so uh, it doesn't really matter. Let's do. Um, let's do speaker. Speaker, we get it. Plus four courage. So we're gonna trigger bold. We'll handle that in a minute. Okay. Thunder crawl. Says, once in a lifetime on a hunt board space after overwhelming darkness in the place of rolling a random hunt event use a hundred as your result so this is once a lifetime okay cool well that's nice because we have seasoned hunter and if we get a hundred, we get plus one understanding and plus one courage. So that will be actually helpful. Um, cool. That, that was a good choice. Uh, okay. So now let's do, uh, let's trigger bold for speaker real quick. So that's the last of the conviction principle bold. So we triggered this on the settlement. So we get triumph when you're returning survivor, we get matchmaker. No, that's courage. Whoops. Courage, bold. Oh, no. Yeah, matchmaker. Sorry. <laughs> Spend one endeavor to trigger intimacy story events. So when you're a returning survivor. Ooh, that's interesting because technically speaking right now is a returning survivor. <laughs> so we can trigger intimacy once with one of those endeavors. So maybe we should do that. Um, I'll think about it. Uh, okay, and then, so in the fleeting existence, every moment shared creates meaning. The bonds forged between survivors give you hope. Gain the following ability and roll on the table below. So we get Mashmaker, roll a d10. That's cocked. Two, you may re-roll one um, endeavor result this settlement phase. Well, that's fun. Uh, not plus one permanent strength or plus one permanent accuracy or gain another endeavor just re-roll one okay so now that's done but we're not done yet uh, we have to do lottery now which i've never even looked at so the manhunter is pleased with how easy it is to cull your settlement it returns to claim a survivor for an unknown purpose the settlement gathers to draw lots if the settlement has the collective toil society principle, use the give me a slave instead. Oh, we have to roll no matter what. So uh, draw lots and then choose to obey. Roll a 1d10, seven. Give me your child, nominate a survivor with the lowest hunt XP. Um, okay. So what happens? Oh, and then we well, then we rebel or obey. Okay. Okay. So here we go. So give me your child. Uh, we can either rebel or obey. Um, I think we're gonna obey because we 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 cannot face a level three manhunter right now. So we add lottery to the timeline two years from now. Two lottery again. Oh, one, two again. That's not cool. Remove him from the settlement. Okay. So we don't gain the death principle. Um, so we're just going to do, let's do blinds. That's one of the people that I haven't done yet. Okay. They're now gone, which is fantastic. 
Um, manager provides someone with payment. Oh, okay. Roll 1d10. 6. Gain one love juice basic resource, random white lion resource, random screaming antelope resource. Okay. Interesting. So um, let's do random uh, screaming antelope. And then what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, rather than dig out the white lion resources, I'm going to pull a screaming antelope resource and I'll just mark off whatever. If it's hide or whatever, I'll do that as a white lion. Uh, screaming brain, organ. So we get an organ from the, from the white lion. And we get a love juice. Another love juice. There we go. It's interesting. All of these have give one love juice. That's that is fascinating. So they take one away, but give you the chance for another. Okay, so that's that. Uh, we update the death count. So we lost monitor. We lost monitor and blinds. So now we're down to one, two, three, four, five. Five population, which is fantastic. That's perfectly fine. I'm totally com comfortable with five. I'm not. Uh, okay. Check milestones, we're good there. Uh, we now develop. Okay, so here's, here's where it gets interesting. So, first off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna innovate one endeavor, pelt, muscly gum, shank bone, that's that. So we draw two, please dash, for the love of God and everything, holy please. So we get Partnership and scarification. Neither one of those is what I want. I know these are good. Let's just do scarification. Yuck. Dang it. I don't want it. I don't want it. That was not okay. All right, well, there you have it. So that's done. I mean, what, what, is, what is it we're looking for? Paint, that's what we're looking for. Gosh dang it, why don't we have paint? Um, okay, well, there you have it. All right, so that's Lantern Horde. Um, weapon Crafter. So, we got this, I wanna get the Zimbato. One perfect bone we have in storage. Three scrap, we have two scrap. And one hide. So what we can do with Weapon Crafter is we can spend an endeavor. Yep, spend an endeavor. And we can scrap scavenge. So let's do that. Oh, three, something attacks you from the darkness. Spend one survival or die. Okay, well, we spent a survival. I don't know. Who, it doesn't matter. Uh, should we do another one? Yeah. Ten. Gain plus one courage. Let's just do speaker. Dang it. Take a long walk. Plus one courage. I really want this Zombato. Is it cumbersome, though? No, yeah, I mean, I really want it. Let's let's spend that other endeavor. Four. Oh, nothing, dang it. <laughs> so that, that didn't happen, so Zimbato doesn't happen. So we're instead gonna do counterweighted axe. We're gonna build a counterweighted axe with whatever, monster hide, shank bone, shank bone. So that's that. Um, oh, we I forgot all about our fresh acanthus. Um, so let's do let's do that real quick. Um, I think that's organ grinder. Yep. Yeah, so one, two, three. So fresh acanthus to dried acanthus. Okay. So that's that. 
Um, all right. And I was thinking, before the Zambato, I was thinking if we get enough scrap, we need three scrap and six bone to build the blacksmith, which is what I really want to start building a lantern armor set. But we don't have enough scrap. So we only have two broken lanterns. Uh, okay, so nothing happens. Um, so we get, let me write down, before I forget, an organ from the white lions. Let's just do... Um, sinew. So we have one sinew. Okay. All right. Well, now what? Uh, we got so much stuff, but I, I'm trying to save it. I'm trying to save on it, you know, Be, so that we can build lantern armor set. Like we're, we got a ton of stuff, but like nothing like. I don't want to waste all of it on on something that you know we're just we're not we're gonna replace like I could do a rawhide armor set real easy but we're gonna replace it with a lantern armor set and then it's gonna be worthless if we can just do one more scrap resource then we're we're there right we're almost, we're nearly there so I'm gonna just gonna put all of this in in um, in storage I think. Um, but let's do intimacy. Um, let's do intimacy twice. Um, so let's grab our book. Uh, remember, we can re-roll. Oh, oh shoot! I forgot we can re-roll one of our things. Uh, so let's re-roll one of our scrap salvage thing. Seven. Is that was that enough? Had one broken lantern base resource. Boom. Okay, so, um, awesome. So we do now we have three broken lanterns, which is scrap. Oh, awesome, I almost completely forgot about that. Uh, so what do we wanna do? Should we do blacksmith? Let's, let's grab blacksmith real quick. All right, so, oh, we need iron for that. We need a lot of iron, which means more scrap. So let's do, let's not do blacksmith this time. Let's do the Zambado. So the Zambado is one perfect bone. So that's taken away. Um, three scrap. So the scrap we just gained plus the two in storage. Uh, and then one hide. Do we have any hide right here? Yeah, pelt. So we're going to use a pelt. Okay. So now we have the Zambato, which I think will be good. Because it's a speed one. Hits on a six plus six strength. Slow and deadly. Gains devastating one. Whenever you wound, inflict one additional wound. So we'll have to figure out some affinities that match up to that. Uh, but cool. Okay. Uh, so now let's do intimacy. Now let's do intimacy. We're going to use some people that we haven't created cards for. We're going to do carpet and drapes. <laughs> uh, uh, roll twice. Select uh, whichever one we want. Uh, so six or a three. So that's one love juice gone. Six. New survivors brought kicking and screaming to the world. So we gain um, another survivor. We're gonna do another female. This one strength, and we'll call it Fox. I don't think that one's been used yet. Uh, okay, perfect. Uh, another love juice. Carpet and drapes are gonna have another baby. A Ten. Uh, if we've innovated hovel. Oh no, is that, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Is that a home? So let's see. Cracks in the ground. The cracks prevent all home endeavors. So I don't think we get hovel with our intimacy. Oh no. So we just get the settlement celebrates twice for an event, a pair of healthy newborn survivors gain plus two population. If we hadn't, we would got a special child Dang it, so we just get 
twins. So we'll do a male, female, plus one strength, plus one strength, and then we'll call them um, I don't know, castle. Because I've got a miniature castle up there. Baseboard. <laughs> I'm I'm uh, running out of random household items. <laughs> All right, so now we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're a population eight now. That feels a little bit better. All right. Um, anything else? Uh, so what what's happening next lantern year? Um, so we can. Hunt whatever we want, and then we are going to face the hand next year and do hands of heat. Um, okay. And then we yeah, have the hand. I can't remember. It's been so long since I've made it that far. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think that that's the one where we don't fight him. We, we just protect ourselves. So maybe next year we'll build a couple more shields, uh, which would be helpful. Uh, that would be a good idea. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoy this. Uh, I'm having a blast, even though I'm just struggling. And I've messed up enough rules that our, our settlement would have been doomed if I hadn't messed up the rules. But uh, anyways, I'm having a good time. Thank you guys again. See you next time.